Why can't I join your gang? Because you're a wimp scientist, when you could be a wimp villain! Welcome back to another episode of Holodeck Misadventures! No way. You have any idea what's going on? No. Are you sure? Because looking around, this this is the holodeck. You, 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 sh- you sure you, you don't want to be here? Just kidding. So, for today, um, well, we found that, you know, I was getting my butt kicked quite a bit, right? And everybody needs a win once in a while. So, well... I got one. And a little bit of ego stroking, but... Well, you'll see. That being said, because this is blatant sorcery, I'll give the standard riot act here. It's violent. It's bloody. And... Be warned, I fling body parts. It's, it's a good time. So... Have fun, enjoy, and let's see what happens. This time we're going to actually go to the arena, as I will it. Instead of, you know, thinking I pressed the arena and then we end up in the Citadel. <laughs> Oops. Woohoo, we're here. And for today, we're going to show off how awesome Imperius is. Because for a magical weapon, Shad's world building definitely made this thing deadly. Watch this. That's how freaking sharp and pointy this sword is. It will literally go through anything. It's almost as bad as... The other vibration sword I have there from what you call it, Metal Gear Solid. But this, here we go, it's on. Woohoo! This, at least, doesn't just cut through everything. But it's still pretty damn lethal if you're unarmored. Uh, bloody hell. Come on. Come on, I'm not even trying here. Come on. What is this? Stay dead. Alright, next. Come on. Stupid. You don't cast magic when I'm right here with that freaking sword in my hand. It's almost as bad as those stupid spin attacks you idiots do. Come on. I'll regret it. That shouldn't have worked. I cut through his sword. Will I? Hey, look! Okay, that backfired. You're gonna... You know what? Here. Come on, I was screwing around. Dude, you ruined it. Ah, right in the... All right. Really? Serves you right. This sword does not care about armor. The hell happened there? There we go. Okay.
Really, dude? <sighs> Some of these people, I swear. Oh, you know what? Let's do this. Slow down time. Thanks. You're charging my sword. No, no you don't. Wee zappy zap. Let's wear it out, shall we? Huh, mostly worn out now. Oh cool, you've got a dagger buckler. This thing still got a charge? Magic indeed. How did you... This is why this sword is OP. Why one of my other swords is too. It will go through shields. Like I said, armor, even plate armor is a t-shirt to this sword. No more shield for you. Thanks. I'll use this. Right now, apparently. <clears throat> Get off of me. <clears throat> okay, well that was a cool glitch. But sure, no more arm for you. You could say I disarmed her. And I stabbed that guy through his shield. That is some real bad ragdoll. <clears throat> okay, that one I actually had to try. Nope. You didn't die. I'm impressed. Way too wide. You were telegraphing your freaking presence. Hey, we made it. So that would have been 25 kills. Glug, glug, glug. Because I like not being drained. All right. Now, this was one of my several, okay, come on. There we go. Controller's acting weird in real life. One of my several funky gun mods here. For those of you who are total weebs in the crowd, this gun will look familiar. And this is why we use this for giggles. And you know what? Let's go hard with knights. And this is why <laughs> guns are cheap in this game. Gangs to anybody? Apparently my aim sucks like that. What the? Whoa. Okay. I gotta pay attention. And no, these ones don't run out of ammo. Bullet time! Woo! Ooh. That was brilliant. Alright. Then I got the focus back up. Hey, your armor actually did something. So remember, bullets are technically just...
somewhat pointy oblong balls being launched. So this is actually considered blunt weapon in this game. At least with this mod. Ha! And that is why, especially using, oh I don't know, beam weapons is totally cheating. Now, if you want to do something a little bit more closer to real life, this is the small sword. Or at least the particular mod I have's version of it. This thing... Come on. Ugh, can't do it this way. This thing is a lot shorter than Imperius. But, much like Imperius and... Uh, the Vashu Sword Trip. This too can, um... Now, I don't know if the mod designer made it that pointy intentionally. So I'm relatively sure, even in real life, like, I'm bringing that right up to my face here, and you can see how sharp and pointy that edge is. The sword, also because of the way the spine is, it's technically quadruple edged by the looks of it. Now, I may be wrong in that aspect, but at least holding it nice and close to the eye, which is practically invisible unless I hold it this way, this thing is pointy. And, like I said, as far as the game's engine goes, I just stuck it through wood. Now, will this go through stone? I don't believe so. But, um, nope. I have put it through many a wooden shield in this game. And of course, Old Reliable here. Well, we've seen Old Reliable in action last time. Got me pretty far. But this, this we just looked at briefly in the house. This big unwieldy thing is what Alucard uses in Castlevania. Hey, I was using the force, damn it. There we go. This thing, well. Yeah, no, but it's cool. We're gonna put it back though. I said that I'd do swashbuckling last time. Assuming I don't poke my eye out or, you know, stab myself because collision's off, thankfully. Let's, uh, let's do some, you know what, bandit sounds fun. Let's do some bandits with this beautiful cutlass. I forget if it's, or is it a cavalry saver? It's one or the other. Of course it's a mage. No, none for you. How dare you sneak up on me instantly. Alright, next. This one is sharp enough to pull through leather armor, which I can appreciate. Oh, shoot. Bow. Miss me! Guess what, sucker? Oh, really? Yeah, that's what I think you, buddy. Hey, look, I got your friend here. All right, who's next? All right. I like actually Taking a proper fencing stats, do you mind? What are you going to do with a couple of daggers against a formal fencing sword made for maybe cavalry loose? Come on, dude. Telegraphing. <laughs> you had someone else who's been disarmed. Here, you want this?
<laughs> I disarmed you too. Some NPCs will never learn. Really, dude? You've got a Sincada. You're not much better. I shouldn't be here. What? Another one from right there? And that is why... Well, I've gotten good at deflecting magic. Huh. Hello. Really? So there. Take your circlet elsewhere. I'm guard. Come on, dude. I'm swinging around wildly. Making me look way better than I should be. Slow down time. Oh! That got me. That hurt, you jerk. Where'd it go, though? Another one? No. Come on. Come on. Are you even trying? You! What are you gonna do with a couple daggers? The last several people who tried failed. At least you had a stiletto. Oh, come on! What's it with the bowmen? That's why I think you're stupid, Bo. Fight me like real warriors in freaking melee combat. How are you not dead? All right, you. Come on, I'm not even trying here. I'm just mad. You know what? I upgraded. Woo! Woo! Nah, oh, hell, I don't need that. I've got a long sword. <laughs> Let's go. Come on, mage. Ow. Stupid controllers track better. Ah. Gratuitous violence time. Gratuitous violence time. Ooh that would be an oopsie on my part. Forgot where I was. Ouch. Die already. Ow. Okay. Now that I know where I am physically, 
because that actually hurt my hand a bit. All right, carrying on. All right, I like living, so we're gonna end it there. And he ran away. Okay. Well, seeing as how I'm pretty sure I'm bleeding out at this point, yeah. Magic potion. Almost there. I'm happy. Much better. Actually, how much is in here? Hey, hand. Oh, yeah. Alrighty. Well, should we try? Hmm. You know what? I'm going to show you why this sword is so devastating. And we're going to do another progressive one on one. Just to showcase how ridiculous this is. Here we go. I'm only going to do this in one hand because this thing is just beyond OP. Did I even touch you? Just stay dead. No. No magic for you. Like I said, this sword is so cheap. It's like bringing a lightsaber to sword fight. Oh, well that was your one free shot, Bob. Jumping over the sword, are you? It's okay, you're not gonna reach your sword. That didn't even go for his head. That was at his shoulder and his head just popped off. Whee! Come on! Massacre time! Oh no! Shall I disarm you? You know what? Okay, I gotta do it here. Oh, hey, look, my Gundam shield to go with my Gundam gun. Be your heart out, sets an F, say, eh? I am Gundam now. Just because last shooting, woo! Thankfully, there's no Zeong head above me, woo! So I wasn't kidding, huh? That concludes today's episode of the Hollow Deck Misadventures. wasn't much of a misadventure; it was more just me going on a rampage. But it was a fun rampage, and like that want to see more of that kind of nonsense or critique my technique because I realize in a lot of cases there was hardly any eh. gotta have fun with it once in a while um, yeah like comment subscribe really gotta work on a little button so I can put one in the corner there this finger come on there we go in the corner there eh. down there but, yeah, until next time.